Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Make Your Own Commands. So this does what it says. It allows you to make your own commands and each command comes with its own permission node. So you can give the permission nodes to your players if you want them to use that command. And it's basically all set up in the config file that will generate once you start your server with this plugin. So just download this plugin, drop it in your plugins folder. Once it's in there, go ahead and start up your server. Alright, so once your server is started up, go ahead and open your plugins folder. You should see the new folder called Make Your Own Commands. So open that up. Now you should see the config.yml and the update config.yml. We're not going to worry about that. So just right click on the config.yml, hit edit with notepad or notepad. Alright, so let's start from the top. You can change the no permission message. Basically, it's the message that will show up if that player does not have the permission to use the command. And you can also use color codes, which will be on the screen. You can use whatever color you want, and if it's before the rest of the words, then all those words after it will appear in that color. So just put it in front of the words and it will appear in that color. And then the next one is command is blocked. This is the message that will appear if the command is blocked in this certain world. Alright, so now we're going to go into the actual commands. Here is where you can change the command that the players will use. So slash tp test. You can change whatever you want. I'm going to change this to slash hub. So if you want to use this plugin to create your own hub command or hub plugin, then you can do that. So mode, you can leave it as teleport. Permission, you can create your own permission node. So you can change it to teleport.hub or something. So with this permission node, then they will teleport to the hub. And then you can leave send to as sender. Messages. You can change the messages that will appear and you can also use a delay if you want to. So they'll have to wait for the timer of three seconds before they'll be teleported there. I'm just going to change it to zero or negative one if you don't want a delay. So I don't really know why the permission node appears again, but I'm just going to change it to teleport dot hub. And now here's where the cool part comes in. You can type the name of the world and even change the coordinates. So let's say you have a hub world, you can change it to the hub world and set the coordinates for that world. Players can just use slash hub and they'll be teleported to these coordinates inside this world. So I'm just going to change it to my tutorial world because that's the only world that I have right now. Now we're going to get into the message commands. If they type this command, then basically just a message will pop up. So I'm just going to change this slash message test to slash welcome. So if they type the command slash welcome, they'll get a message full of words. I'm going to change this message to welcome to UnoCraft, the best server in the world. So that will just be a welcome message that will appear. And you can change the color code, of course, if you want. Right now that's light green, you can change it to whatever color code you want. And send to as sender, you can leave it as that. But the permission node, you can change it if you want. I'm just going to change mine to welcome.message. So the next one is alias. Alias is basically a shortcut for whatever command that you want. So if they type slash alias, then it's going to execute this command. And as you can see, this command is really long. So this alias thing will save a bunch of time. You can change it to what you want. You can shorten it with initials too, which is pretty cool. But first I'm going to worry about changing the command. The command that I'm going to change it to is slash give this one player, which is me, um, 5, which is wood planks, and then 10. So with the slash alias command, it will execute this command, which is shorter. So all they have to do is just type slash alias, and then I'll have to type all this. Now I'm going to change this because I don't even like typing that. I don't even like saying the word, so why do I want to type it? I'm going to change it to something like slash give uno. Now I'll always be a shortcut for giving me 10 wood planks. Okay, you can change the permission node, of course. I'm not going to worry about that for this one. Now we're going to do the items. So obviously this will give a player this certain item down here that we set it to with this command. So slash items will give them this 
35 I'm not sure what that is but it works by item IDs you put whatever item ID you want I'm gonna go with wood planks again I don't know I guess I have an obsession with wood planks or something and then 10 so 10 wood planks with this command slash items now I'm gonna change this command to slash wood so this will give him a certain amount of wood you can change the message and the permission node and the blocked worlds so on this world these commands won't work so that's basically how you set it up once you're done make sure to save it restart your server and head on to your minecraft server again alright so once you're in minecraft server you can see that these commands work the first command that I'm going to do is the slash hub command and as you can see here I have absolutely no hub plugin so but with the plugin the slash hub plugin that I created I'll be able to teleport to these coordinates right here so I'm going to test it slash hub and bam it'll teleport me to there like that spot over there so I'm going to do it again and it teleports me back so the next one that I created is slash welcome that will give me a welcome message which is pretty cool So yeah, this plugin really works, and hopefully you guys have fun creating your own commands. Get really creative, and eventually you can come up with some amazing commands. So hopefully you guys like the tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a part of the universe yet. And peace out, guys. It's on a mindset. It's what you gotta get. It's a hundred times you gotta stay positive. This is doing now. This is living life. If you coming with me, baby, we're doing it right. I said we're doing it right. Everybody will be doing it right.